Hello everybody, it's Kyle from the channel Random Schmidt again. This time, I got my other find I got in the same week as that CB radio in the previous video. I got a Philco A361. This was a weird year, it was built in 1941, or not 42 I mean. And it's a weird year because they used a car radio for it. So this transformer here is a transformer. Instead, it would be a vibrator if this was in the car. But since it, they were beginning war production, Ford didn't need radios. So Philco said, okay, we'll put them into cabinets. And this cabinet on the inside looks really dusty and dirty, but on the outside, it looks amazing. What happened was... I know this radio worked previously because my cousin had plugged it in. His, the dial cord came off. So I figured I'd make this video to show the dial cord and how weird this thing is due to the fact that it slides up and down here. Instead of having a, a, um, like a finger type turning style. But, but see here, this nut came out of the slot here. So I gotta put that back in. And the cord runs through here all weird like, but I can fix that. Um, and I just gotta rethread all this. So hopefully then this radio will tune somewhere. I figured the caps are still shot because I get some bad hum out of it. But they'll get there when they get there. Okay. Okay, everybody. Well, I uh, fixed it by restringing it with some high tension button string. That's about all I had at hand, but hey, that works really good. Now, this here, since it wasn't connecting, I needed something that was like the rubber gasket on this one. Decided that hot glue would work the best, and it did. And I restrung around there with this, comes up here, goes around there, connects there, through there, connects that spring, and then on the other side, comes up, around there, through there, connects to there. So, you turn it here, and pulls that back. Nothing to do with the needle. The needle's on its own, it's on its own string right underneath here. So I didn't have to re do any restringing of that. I tried to clean it a little, but that didn't really do much. Dust it off the tops of the tubes. But, yeah, it, hopefully I'll have a tunable radio now. And I also wanted to touch on this. This is a weird thing for the 40s. It's a safety switch. When I had first taken the top off of this, I thought that I broke something or that, but it was just a switch unclicking after all these years of being covered up. And one last shot of this tuning. Definitely a car radio. So I took the uh, the liberty of waiting till it was 10:21 when I can actually get AM in this building, and. This had to turn the radio in. Apparently the capacitors don't sound that bad now that I got this working, but it needs a lot of fine tuning. This is a guy like Zach Stewart who came up and I thought handled himself very well. Yet be part of a deal that This is K one KYN ten sixty on Britain, I believe. This is Iron Pigs Radio for the local Pennsylvanians. Comes in loud and clear. It's very amazing. If I change capacitors, I bet you I'd have no problem with this radio. But yeah, I'll leave you to this. Phillies, because if you remember back, the Phillies, it was.
Cliff Lee, and then everybody else. Now, Hamels, I believe, you know, Hamels was a little bit better than, you know, anybody, you could say, the Yankees potentially having throw game two. But it, it's this year for the Yankees, it's going to be Sabathia and... So. An almost impending doom. This, this is me the, the starting out with a working radio. New York radio.